Calibrations. I have some calibrations to do calibrations. <laughs> Just whipping out your gun on the Calibrations! Side. Or maybe it's holding a button. <laughs> or you can throw a mine. Yes, select throws a mine, apparently. How do I grab that? Select again. That detonates it. <laughs> we got Garrus. That was as far as we got. We rescued the medic lady, and Garrus was there. Ah, okay, so yes, we rescued Garrus. And I, I complimented that. Garrus on his shooting and calibrations. So yeah, I think we have to go to Korra's Den. That's where we have to go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost certain we have to go into Korra's Den to find Fist. Look out! Well, he just murdered that bartender. Something well, Yeah, he was pointing a gun at me! You're losing health fast. I Hit don't y. care. Hit Y. I got a shotgun. I don't care about anything. You're shotgun! You are not going to last very long with those tactics. Shotgun. How do I activate my pit boy? There is no pit boy. Sorry. There you him? go. The, is he dead? He's dead. How do I re- Oh, you don't reload. <laughs> Whoa! Right there. Whoa! Don't come any closer. Uh, normally, there's a part where you can negotiate and talk these guys down, but apparently Ashley was a bit gung ho. Think yeah. Right, Commander. No negotiating. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Uh, not looking so hot. See, I'm good at this game. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Dramatic. Whoa! Death whoa! 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 Boop! 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 Boop -a -doop -a -doop -boop 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 -boop. Does she have spiky hair or is she one of those aliens? That's an Asari. Yes. Is this a, a succubus? <laughs> nice. That was a mine. Nice use of those hand mines. Well, here comes the Krogan. Those are the tough ones. Oh, uh, he's fine. See, he's just taking a nap. Only using shotgun for this entire playthrough. That's the only weapon I'm allowed to use. Okay. I'm on it. He's gonna pole dance for us? <laughs> nope, he's dead. Can't do any dancing now. How do I reload? Nice, you knocked off his shields. Finally, some action. Cover! Enemy is everywhere! Who keeps yelling enemy is everywhere? <laughs> Take cover! Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. I never want to see you again. Is that clear? Don't worry. You'll never see me again. All right, then. Now you just got to get out of here and find the Quarian. Hurry before time runs out. You only have four minutes. Oh. Is the Quarian, uh... What's her name? Well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but I'm pretty sure you know already. I probably do. Oh god, there's guys back out Couple here. Couple more of them, yep. Might need to take some cover before you die. Hold the line! Hold what line? Enemy Why would you say hold the line? It's just assumed that yes, you're gonna <laughs> hold the line. There's no, you don't need to you don't need to tell them to hold the line. That's like being in the middle of a firefight and saying, shoot at them! Up these stairs, up these stairs, up oh the assassin. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> Smacks his hand. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. Good lord, that was... way more difficult than Just the Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Uh, I'm someone who saved your life. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. I like Tally's backward bending legs. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's Den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? <laughs> Shut up and I'll tell you! No, we're gonna be nice. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. 
She's like, what? I never said Maybe that. Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Yeah, because it's way in the future and nobody could possibly replicate audio that sounds like someone else. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Mmm, I'm gonna go with she's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. Let me wipe off my face with my I arm. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Hmm, will they believe it? No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. <laughs> you saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Sure, I'll let her join us. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Captain's like, what? what? And I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Oh man, who am I going to bring now? I kind of want to bring Ashley, and I kind of want to bring Caden. But I think I'm going to bring Garrus and Tali. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I think it's all up to you. Uh, well, we'll go. We'll go with. We'll go with Tali and Garrus. See, it's just a bunch of freaky aliens running around. I like her feet. She's got cool little feet. She's got three toes, just like Garrus. Got, Garrus has two. Does Garrus... Oh, yeah, he, I guess he does have, like, three fingers. Does that mean they have a base three number system? Probably, yeah, they probably have a base six number system. Oh, sorry, system. yeah, base six number system, because they're... So their number system will go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the next number is... Ten. Ten. Well, I guess technically it would probably be different for them, though. Because I don't really understand how, like, a base six number system would work. Hey, look, I'm more renegade than Paragon. You're a slightly more... Slightly. Rough around the edges. Slightly. Just a little rude sometimes. Just a little, a little bit of a dick. <laughs> little, little dick. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, woo. Shepard. Woo! A moment of your time. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Sorry, I'm really busy running in circles here, buddy. Look at this. Look at this. I actually lean in a little bit when I run. How clever is that, huh? Okay, what do you want? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Oh, what is it? A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? <laughs> my wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. All right, I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's go to the expensive bar and yell at this dude. All right, so I'm supposed to yell at... Ah, Clerk Bosker! My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpses! <laughs> I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Um, she's toxic? I, no, that's not what he said. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, 
We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few He's years. lying! He's scratching the back of his neck! Let's kill him! I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batya the truth. <laughs> well, he's got a point. A little rough around the edges, again. I understand, but like seriously, you need to tell her husband. You can't just be like, oh, we're not going to tell you anything. No, like seriously, man, it's, you, you got to at least explain it to him. It was his wife, for God's sake. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? We're gonna go with this. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Please let me know what can be So basically, done. I can't do anything with this until later. Well, you could, you could end the quest now by telling him that it can't be solved. Or you can actually come back later once you have the ability to solve it. Okay, well, we'll come back later when I have the ability to solve it. Alright, where am I going? Oh. You are going to the Presidium, so just take the fast travel car. Look at this little car here. How do we fit in this thing? That's a very good question. Do you question. climb in through the little tube on the side? <laughs> like a playpen at McDonald's. It's like, look how small this thing is. I realize, yeah, there's room if you sit in there, but what is this thing made out of? Like, tin? That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. Listening in on conversations. Isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the council knowing it? Maybe the council. Don't look at me. I'm not listening. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I'd be careful who you mention that to. Yeah, I'd be careful. Who <laughs> shouldn't we be doing? We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. So what do they live on? Like really tiny ships, basically. They live on salvaged ships. Yes, they don't have a homeworld anymore. Oh, so they're scrappers. Yep. That's kind of cool. I can get behind that. Oh, who's this chump? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't waste our time. I can see the lie on your face. They're not very good at lying, are they? I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. Quick slam him into the ground! Get the information out of him! I'm a scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. So why were you lying? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Hmm. I guess I might as well. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Why is he doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. That's a reasonable explanation. I should get going, then. So, how, oh, you just scan. I got 30 monies. Got 30 credits. So every time I see one, I'll just, like, scan it. Yep. Simple enough. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. What kind of a name is Udina? You wanted proof? There it is. Proof! There it is! This proof! Is there it is! Ambassador. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I kind of feel like being a dick again. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. <laughs> you proved Saren betrayed the Oh, shut up! You guys are dumb. Using the gas to search for the conduit. Watermelon really face. <laughs> the Reapers are obviously just Who's a mean? myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I don't know. I don't like any of these options. I wanted to find one and just be like, whatever, fine. But we'll just we'll go with this. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. Yeah, like two minutes that ago. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! Ooh! A fleet cannot track down one man. They have a very valid point. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. 
There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No! It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with a better response. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Boop beep boop 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 boop. Commander Shepard, step forward. <laughs> I'm gonna be an important dude. <laughs> Look how important I am! It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. <laughs> About time! No, I'm not gonna be a dick. I'm honored, Counselor. I realize how much this means to them, diverse. so I'm gonna let them have their little day. Justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. Oh boy. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. <laughs> Come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Yeah! Hooray for space! Hey, look, it's Rex. You. Human. You the one they call Shepard? Maybe. Who wants to know? The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. Oh, you're welcome. Sounds like I did your job for you. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it. Alone. Okay. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Um, what? You're going to pay me for getting rid of Fist? I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Saren? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. All right. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Oh, God. I don't know. If you think the decision is tough now, just wait until the next game when you've got 12 potential teammates. I know, right? You can still only bring three, right? Two. We're just going to keep going with uh, Garrus and Tali. Solid team. Can't go wrong there. All right, so here we are. Well, let's talk to him. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Um... She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. What's going on? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. He does. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. I'm gonna tell him he should have told me. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Oh! I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Oh, well, you can count on me, buddy. I won't let you down, sir. Sorry, I'm gonna call my commanding officer, buddy. Don't even try to find him. <laughs> but we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. 
See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Hey, Liara! Sony. We I know who she is. She was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I don't know about that. That's actually, that's the, that's the story I'm role-playing, is that I was a Hanar beforehand, and I just somehow found my way into a human body. I'm actually just dressed in a human suit. This is a rubber mask. <laughs> uh, so where do I go to get free shit? I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. Now we do things my way! No, let's... I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yeah, we can't fail. Yes, sir. Determination! <laughs> Something I don't have in real life. Um, alright, so what the hell am I doing? Ah, yes. The storage bay. This is where people are. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? Uh, personal inquiry. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Don't be an ass. You Krogan live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. <laughs> it isn't. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? <laughs> uh, okay, I kind of get ya. I suppose it isn't all the same. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Uh, okay. Dismiss, Chief. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Yeah! But CSEC you're a loose cannon, Garrus! Protocol and procedure come I want this done by the book! The mayor's on my ass about this one! I want your gun and your badge! <laughs> C-Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside C-Sec. And without C-Sec headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Hmm. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Tell us getting all hot and bothered by our drive system. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Uh, normally they're not. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. 
A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. Oh, she's in the ships. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the How many of you think come back with just like something really stupid? The captain of the we got a whole lot. Bro, this can opener! <laughs> We are welcomed into the crew. I, I would doubt if anyone just brought a can opener. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to present. I just keep imagining one gift. bringing like a really it's crappy thing because he's just super lazy. Community. Most <laughs> what item would you bring, Zach? Something worthwhile. A wrench. <laughs> I brought this. I brought this pipe wrench. I wrap the handle of duct tape so you can hold on to it good. <laughs> I also brought this generator, but it don't work. I think it's either because it's out of fuel or because it's broken. <laughs> I can't believe they just send you off alone. I know that you can like kind of see her eyes and nose under that, but I just like to imagine that it's just the, the plastic like sh or like the glass sheet. I like Tali. She's a nice character. Which of the characters, yeah, which of the five teammates that you have do you like most so far? So far, it's a tie between Garrus and Tally. I like those two. I like Garrus because Garrus is just a loose cannon cop. <laughs> That's like... Li li okay, so before I started playing this game, mm -hmm. before I knew anything about it, I thought Garrus was like a scientist. <laughs> I thought he was just like, uh, cause you know, that's like the only thing I knew about him was the meme about calibrations. That was like it. So I thought he was just kind of like some some scientist that happened to be really handy with a gun. Um, but now that I know that he's like a loose cannon cop, I like him a lot better. <laughs> uh, so yeah, for me, I think personally, it's a tie between Garrus and Tali. Um, what the hell is that girl's name? Uh, there was Ashley. Ashley. Ashley just seems kind of like basic character. I don't know. She doesn't really seem that interesting to me. Yeah, there's Ashley, Caden, and Rex, and maybe you'll learn more about them in the future. Or you Caden can bring them along just, as mission. Yeah, Caden is just like another kind of like other character I have. Ooh, I want to I want to talk to Choker. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. <laughs> Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. Oh, All God. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Wait, what disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. <laughs> Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, <laughs> too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. I am pretty sure I know how he got his nickname. Uh... How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. I like Joker. Balance Joker's isn't cool. What you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. I I I already know, but we're gonna ask anyway. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Alright, see ya. Oh, I like Joker. Let's go into space! No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Flush yourself out the airlock. <laughs> Alright, anyway, okay. Alright, I'm gonna save at this point, and then we'll, uh... We'll come back later. Alright. We'll bang later, okay? <laughs> Just keep hitting B. Keep flapping around. Thank you, I appreciate Flap. it. Now, I Flap. need to get over here. Can I... Can you hit B while I'm in the air? While I'm, while I'm in the air. 
while, while I'm in the air. No, you said you said while I'm underwater. No. I heard it. All right. 